distinguished uh, president of Aalto University, Tula Teri, and warmly welcomed uh, audience. I'm very pleased to give this installation lecture here today to you. In my lecture, I will go first through what is, what is this field of financial accounting, what is its importance in the economy, and then give my message, my research message uh, to you and how it's important and how it is seen uh, in the economy and how it should be seen. Financial accounting is measuring and monitoring the performance of target company and reporting the results for the interested users. What this really means? It means that financial accounting should really be able to give the view how companies are doing, reliably give this information. And I would say exactly right now in the economy, we have been flowing in this issue in whole Europe, if not globally. Most importantly, we always speak about financial accounting of companies, but anyway, currently and lately, financial accounting in governments have been really been a big issue and really has not been working at all. It should reduce the agent, principal agent problem mentioned by Seppo here today too. Is it really doing so? It should if it's working correctly. It is used by actually, and the information is meant not to firms, not to governments, but the ones who are using this information. And already I would say that this aspect, that somebody is providing information to outsiders, is one of the crucial ones. It should be reliable, it should be always be correct, and everybody should have the same view, what does it mean? And I would say that currently European Union economic crisis is partly caused by the fact that everybody is a little bit using financial accounting system from their point of view correctly, thinking that they do it correctly, but anyway, doing it a little bit differently, giving a little bit different message. So financial accounting is really the hot spot in the systems today. I collected, I will go this through pretty fast, but I collected Titles from Financial Times, uh, let's say last two years. Economic crisis, we saw that it was, it's titled the crisis of Greece. We see that everything and problems in Europe started from Greece. But it's not actually true. It started already from the subprime crisis, from the credit crisis uh, globally and in Europe. Greece was only the spot in Europe which started first to give the first signs that really our system in EU is not working at all. Two years ago, uh, National Bank of Greece sent out the news that they will plan fundraising. This news is about how the fundraising will solve the problem and then they are solid. Of course, the market reacted immediately that this is only a bad news to the market. Then. Uh, Two and a half years, uh, one and a half years later, we are talking about how Greece is making to recovery, how the uh, cuts are to be deeper and deeper and deeper, how the public expenditure will be even deeper than previously announced. And then again, Greece raised a bailout again. Here, I think the uh, one message from the financial accounting system is that if these news are to be read, um, uh, news after news, they always give a little bit different view. There is something from banks, something from companies, something from uh, governmental sector, and the message is a little bit different. It's, we are doing a recovery, there is a huge problems, and so on. And even the financial accounting measures are giving the different message. Then the problem in Europe is going further. 
is said that now it's a problem of financial sector, financial services are cutting their jobs, and then now the latest uh, big banks, they are really facing the hardest hits from the latest uh, ring fencing plans in Europe in banking sector. From some funny reason, it turned out um, uh, that the problems when European Union was supposed to be developing, problems was basically caused from the fact that European Union was planning or trying to grow. Financing sector was financing the growth of Greece and growth of Europe, and at the same time there were selling parties, other countries in Europe who were selling different type of issues to Greece. There are always three parties. Parties buying, parties selling, and some production. And now it's just see that everything is basically fault of financial markets because they gave this credit and now the whole Europe is in, in deep problems. And my area in this European crisis or economic crisis is pretty narrow. It's not the whole European system. It's small, narrow, currently uh, small and medium, medium enterprises and their profitability. But is it truly a small? In Finland, we have uh, 262, roughly, thousand enterprises. 80, 98 of them are small and medium-sized enterprises. They are employing 63% of the whole employees in Finland, and they are creating 52% of the turnover in the Finnish economy. And especially, importantly, this is the graphics from the Federation of Finnish Enterprises, hugely importantly, current and previous research are really showing that small and medium enterprises, they are always carrying responsibility of employing when large companies are defaulting. So these are the graphs in here, Finland, after subprime crisis, when uh, employment of provided by large companies is drastically going down. The same for the medium-sized or companies in Finland, but then micro-enterprises and small enterprises, they are getting their growth when the economy is most desperately needing it. Of course, this is what has to happen. In my research, last five years, I've been targeting to find out really the growth structures of SMEs, their profitability, and especially internal structures giving SMEs the possibility to grow and the possibility to create the profitability and employ. This way, employ uh, for our country. And I'm summing up different now, uh, different results of my research, what we've been doing. Uh, first, about the ownership and ownership involvement. We have been investigating the impact of family and employee ownership and the involvement. We have been investigating the impact of active in involvement of owners. We have been investigating also uh, if there is any specific effect if family CEO or family chair is participating into the business, or if external blockholders like venture capitalists are improving the performance of SMEs, or if outside members in SME boards improve the performance. We found out, surprisingly, that even Finland, our country is pretty small, so by the definition, we could not expect that the ownership um, results 
based on family ownerships would have been so strong, but they are. They are inevitably strong. Family ownerships is much more profitable than other type of ownership in Finland. And especially uh, the performance of uh, family managed companies do not differ per se, but when the o uh, owner CEO is working on the company, then the performance effect is most drastic. Uh, and then surprisingly, a number of family members actively involving today-to-day -to -day business is really not causing any positive effect. I would say that if you think about uh, close relationships, even families, it's, um, it's no wonder, I would say. It's, it's not very easy to work when you know somebody really well. Then, non-family firms whose owners are actively involved, actively involved, they also are providing high returns. So the involvement is really, involvement and the motivation is really the key issue. And then surprisingly, employee ownership doesn't really provide any uh, efficient effect. So it's not efficient, in largely it's not efficient uh, way to compensate employees. Um, then the positive effect of family CEO. And then we found out that the positive effect becomes hugely less likely when CEO is not the founder itself. Again, the involvement and the motivation. And the next area, strategies. We investigated how much firms are able to create performance and profitability by viewing their visions for the future, meaning growth strategies. We found out uh, that firms, not surprisingly, but inevitably firms who have growth strategies, then they definitely will create better success for the future and more uh, uh, solid way. And we also found out in this research area that growth strat strategies, different types of them, require different types of financing. Marketing and networking, they require short-term financing and uh, R&D production and international development definitely requires long-term financing. And in the current state, right now in the economy, in Finland, the plans are increasing, plans are to increase the costs for financing sector with this new uh, transaction tax. At the same time, our economy is supposed to create more jobs, more internalization for our firms, more growth, more profitability. And at the same time, our governmental structure is just making now the plans how they are punishing, actually, the firms who are planning to create a growth and more employment in our country. The last section, um, this is even deeper analyzing what really motivates and what really creates uh, SMEs to seek growth and to seek success in their operations. We in investigated entrepreneurial orientation of the firms or the entrepreneurs in the firms and how this entrepreneurial orientation is linked to the performance. Entrepreneurial orientation means they are deep inside behavioral type of aspects like innovativeness, risk, risk taking, proactiveness, uh, competitive, accurate, uh, aggressive type of behavior or the seeking of the self-employment and autonomy basically in the personal structures. And we found out, or we first hypothesized, of course, that entrepreneurial orientation is definitely positively related to the growth, and it is positively related to 
the firm profitability. Meaning that if the situation is so in Finland, we should really support, really support the actions that make entrepreneurs or their feelings for uh, to make their businesses even more profitable, stronger and stronger, if our economy is seeking for the growth. We hypothesized also that risk-taking component is related to the profitability, but also to the variability of the profitability. So the basic risk-return structure, what we have in our theoretical structures in financial accounting. And we found out, with a very big pleasure, that entrepreneurial orientation has positive effect on growth orientation and five, five years average measured growth percentage. So it's really creating the growth. And firms with higher strategic risk-taking ability, they are riskier, but they are also providing higher profitability for the risks that they are taking. And at this current stage of time, this is hugely important. Economy is, if not in depression, very close. And our country really should be and is, and it should be seriously seeking the solutions who are creating the jobs for the future. And this results, these results of our research, it shows that it really matters that those who want to be entrepreneurs, who want to carry the risk of owning and creating the jobs for the economy, they should be supported and especially their motivation should be supported. To conclude, financial accounting is all around in the economy. Failures now in European Union, they are partly caused by financial accounting misinterpretation or for the reason that financial accounting information is produced differently. Even we think in European Union that we use the same accounting standards. But it always a little bit varies when bookkeepers do their work and they think that what should be included or not. SMEs are hugely important, especially in current economic crisis, in Finnish economy. And internal structures like ownership, strategies, orientation, motivation, they do matter. And positive attitude in the economy right now is definitely needed. Few issues to conclude. In Finnish economy right now, I tried really to see what is good. I found, and I've been reviewing it closely past two years, but now I've seen a drastic improvement in TECES funding program for the SMEs to grow internationally. They seem to be serious now. This program has been going, but they seem to be seriously taking this issue for the SMEs. This financial market transaction tax is really something that it's like um, burning even the wishes why and how our economy should grow. And all the structures that are decreasing the motivation of SMEs to grow or to plan to grow, they are hugely harmful at this moment of time. Thank you.